नमस्कार मित्रों रिसेंटली आई सो माई ब्रदर डूइंग सम कैजुअल स्केचिंग एंड ही वॉज यूजिंग एन इरेजर दैट लुक अ बिट डिफरेंट इट वॉज द डोम्स इरेजर विच लुक्स लाइक अ मिनी व्हील दैट गेव मी एन आइडिया वाई नोट टू बिल्ड समथिंग आउट ऑफ इट सो आई जम टोन टू गूगल लुक फॉर सम इंस्पिरेशन एंड केम अक्रॉस अ फैट ट्रक इट लुक सुपर कूल सो आई डिसाइडेड टू मेक अ स्केल मॉडल ऑफ इट फॉर द ड्राइव ट्रेन आई चूज द एन ट्वेंटी मोटर अ कॉम्पैक्ट येट पावरफुल मोटर परफेक्ट फॉर स्मॉल बिल्ड लाइक दिस As the brain of this build I am using the same controller circuit that I built in this video you might remember it and for controlling it remotely I am using this custom build transmitter again from another video of mine so these three components along with a few other parts are all we need for this build now let's move on the designing process first i took the measurements of the dome's eraser's rim and tire then i jumped on to fusion 360 and started designing the powered wheel for the n20 motor After that I modified the same design to create the free wheel. Once the wheels were ready, I moved on to designing the fat trucks chassis and body. After a day of work, the entire design was ready. To bring these parts to life, I decided to use GLC PCB 3D printing service. I can easily print these parts with my 3D printer, but for those who don't have a 3D printer and want to prototype a project, then GLC PCB is all-in-one solution for you. To order your 3D printed parts, visit glc3dp.com, upload your CAD file, choose your settings and place the order. GLC PCB is a well-known manufacturer of printed circuit boards offering multi-layer PCBs, flex PCBs, PCB assembly services and SMT stencils. Besides PCBs they also provide 3D printing and CNC machining services. They offer 3D printing services with different technologies, materials and surface finishes. Even they also provide metal 3D printing services. The package arrived within a week and as always GLC PCB delivered excellent quality. I have used their 3D printing service in many of my projects and it never disappoints. If you are planning to get your design printed, check out GLC 3DP. The link is in the description. Now that our all 3D printed parts are here, let's begin the assembly process. We have just finished the connections. Now it's time to upload the code. I have already explained the entire coding process in this video and I am using the same code here with just a few small updates. For the receiver, you will need to downgrade the ESP32 board package to version 2.0.14 in the Arduino IDE. Otherwise, you will run into this error. To downgrade, just go to board manager, search for ESP32, select version 2.0.14 and install it. And for the transmitter code change the y axis pin from 33 to 34 since the remote has a different pin configuration than the one in the earlier video with that sorted let's get back to the assembly After fixing the battery in place, I powered on the truck, turned on the transmitter and tested it.
Both wheels were working, but there was a problem. The movement was not very responsive. It struggled on uneven surfaces and even had trouble making turns. I was not happy with the performance, so I decided to improve it. After a bit of brainstorming, I got an idea. Let's make it four-wheel drive. I opened Fusion 360 again and modified the design to connect the front and rear wheels on each side using a belt and pulley system. Once the new design was ready, I started printing the updated parts. I printed the belt using Eason TPE83A which is a flexible filament. All the new parts are now printed so let's remove the old setup and install the updated parts. The final assembly is now complete and our fat truck is now 4 wheel drive. All 4 wheels are now moving together thanks to the belt and pulley mechanism. The motion and turning are much smoother and more powerful than before. Now let's fully charge the battery and move on to the final test. A few moments later. As you can see guys, it's working beautifully now. I am really happy with the performance and I hope you like it too. If you want to build your own version of this fat truck, you will find all the resources including the 3D files and code linked below in the description. If you enjoyed this project, do consider subscribing because there's a lot more exciting content coming your way. So that's it for today guys, I'll see you in the next one.